there is a very little, uh, low uh, returns. For example, let me use my own example. Because uh, in this farm, I used to pluck less than 100 kilos uh, per month. With the current price of uh, 17 shillings, you have to pay a worker uh, 700 shillings. From 1700 shillings per month, you have to pay uh, a plucker 700 shillings. Then you will remain with uh, 1000 shillings. Then there is two sata processing fee uh, in the bank, goes with 100 shillings. So I was remaining with 900 shillings per, per month. That is the whole amount. There is, uh, there is weeding, there is fertilizer. From that, one, uh, from that uh, 900 shillings, so we, now, from this uh, small piece of land, I get up to 25,000 per, per month. Because uh, I normally supply to Kericho Town, and one round I can fetch uh, up to 3,000 per day. And I can supply maybe two to three times during uh, a nice season. I can supply for around six to five thousand, five to six thousand per, per week. So within a month, in a good month, I can get uh, 25,000. As compared to uh, the previous amount I was getting from tea, which was uh, less than 900 shillings. Welcome to Kerisho County. Uh, this is a palace farm, a uh, two point piece of land owned by Silas Kipruto. Here we are uh, doing uh, poultry farming, dairy goats, and uh, vegetables, mostly local vegetables. school in 2009. That's when uh, I started, uh, I entered into college and after a while I look around uh, to get a job but it was very difficult. That's when I started doing uh, poultry farming. In fact I started with seven chicken. Uh, with good uh, lessons from uh, farmers, from experts, from other trainers in, within the county. That's when I grew and eventually ventured uh, fully in poultry farming. After a while, uh, I saw a huge pile of uh, chicken droppings. That's when I saw an opportunity of uh, starting the, the local vegetables farming. Uh, I started local vegetables farming in 20, uh, 2017. And the demand was very huge. Then I, within a very short time, I had a I had planted a tea plantation in a two-point piece of land. That's when I decided to uproot all those uh, tea and ventured fully in uh, local vegetables. There is a very huge uh, demand for local vegetables as compared to other tea's uh, vegetables due to lifestyle diseases. That's why uh, I decided to venture it on that. And for, because, of we do, uh, uh, because we do poultry, and with existence of uh, manure. Poultry manure is the best to nurture the local vegetables. That's why I, I ventured on, on that. Uh, recently, I saw that I had a uh, much more space that's to start a poor, uh, dairy cost farming. And that's why I ventured because uh, with dairy cost farming, uh, you can get milk, at the same time you get uh, manure which also will assist in doing uh, the local vegetables. I 
decided to, to venture into this uh, dairy cow farming because of a uh, limited size of land. Uh, uh, when I compare the way you can uh, keep a uh, dairy cow and uh, dairy goods, uh, uh, having dairy cow is a bit uh, difficult because of uh, the, num uh, the size of the land. The, s the land is very small and the dairy cow requires a lot of, uh, a lot of feeds. So I opted to go to venture into dairy goods farming because uh, after all, uh, <laughs> with one dairy goat you can get three liter. Nowadays with the dairy cow you, you find somebody struggling and eventually get even two liter uh, from the dairy cow. So for my case I ventured into dairy goats which uh, give us three liter per day. And the price of uh, dairy goats is uh, very high as compared to that one of uh, dairy cow. Okay, this is, uh, this is called multi-story gardening and this is the the new technology I'm now uh, uh, entering into because uh, I told you I operate in a two-point space of land. I have maximized and I've seen that uh, I'm, almost, I'm almost exhausting but because of ideas and more research I realized if I go in this way of multi-story I can still uh, multiply these two points of piece of land into two acres because uh, one multi-story is equivalent to it is 10 times. So if I was to plant uh, 10 seedlings, I can do my story and plant 100 seedlings. If you have one acre, you can do it, the, the multi story and be 10 acres. So this is uh, one way of improving uh, the land. Another advantage of this multi story is it reduces labor. The main problem is weeding. That's why I told you the main challenge is weeding. But if you install this multi-story gardens, you have to forget about chembe because you don't have weeds. The only thing is, okay, so mama Ivy, you have to remove the uh, small, small uh, weeds. So it is very easy to, to, to manage. And this is where I'm now heading to. That's why I'm still installing. To make this uh, two points piece of land, uh, Two acres. Yeah. Before Corona, the demand for chicken was on average. That's where you can all that uh, chickens sell freely, everything was moving on well. The moment Corona came in, there was a very huge demand. That's where we sell a lot of chickens. But now, there is a very big problem. There is no demand at all. Then, uh, so we have to just maintain a uh, little chicken because uh, you have to maintain the business. You can't just uh, leave everything, so we have to because there is no demand, so we keep a, a very small number, like the one I have right now. And also, the fits, the cost of fits just went too high during this uh, season. We, uh, that's, that's the main challenge now. So people don't... Uh, like, what was my answer to relax Kabisa na Kukuchu? Chakula imenda chu sana. The main challenge in our farm uh, was, first it was diseases, but after attending uh, several trainings and doing research in YouTube, then uh, I think I've so far overcome the challenge of uh, diseases. The main challenge now for poultry farming is uh, high cost of feeds. That is the main challenge. The feeds is very high, that if you don't use your mind properly, you will end up making uh, nothing. But because I have experience, I know how to do a number of projects, related projects like uh, the manure from poultry, uh, adding value to, to get something higher from the, from the farm. Another challenge is uh, there was uh, marketing. At times there is, a, uh, there is shortage. Um, there, is, uh, there is no market for, for poultry products because uh, many, especially during the, the corona season. 
many farmers ventured into poultry farming and they end up uh, selling uh, poultry at a lower price. And you can sell your your products with it, with the price you you want to sell. You want to sell I with. Have a, I have a plan of keeping up to thirty dairy goats. So far, I have eight eight of them. Uh, I started with uh, with three. Eventually, uh, I've gotten uh, small ones, and now I have eight. Uh, one dairy goat. Uh, this type of dairy goat is called a uh, chaman alpine. Uh, Chaman Alpine, it is the best uh, dairy goats. And uh, to manage it is very easy. You can see a very small space. For this uh, small section, uh, you, you can keep two dairy goats. So I have a plan because I partition this section to have two dairy goats in every, every section. But these smaller ones, you can keep up even up to five dairy uh, young ones. In, in smaller section. At the story, at the upper side, I'm planning to have uh, the small ones will be going to, to the upper side. I have a plan, uh, I have a decent plan of how I can manage the, the urines. This is uh, another section, ongoing section, apart from uh, once I, once we have uh, many coats, uh, we'll be having, we will be keeping the the young ones in this section. Uh, I have a way whereby uh, I'll make everything work uh, decently without the uh, droppings or the urines affecting those at, at, at the lower level. level. Apart from farming, we also have to make our homes beautiful. So I decided to, to come up with this plan of uh, selling uh, flowers and, and trees. So most, most of my uh, customers, when they visit the farm, at least they have to, to buy one or two flowers or uh, trees.